and Jesus continued. In verse 14 and 15, Jesus was talking about, if you did not forgive, your heavenly father will not forgive you. So for us to be able to know that God Almighty wants us to forgive, we need to forgive those that offended us. Matthew chapter, 14, Matthew chapter 6, verse 14 and 15 says, For if ye forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly father will also forgive you. But if ye forgive not their trespasses, neither will your heavenly father forgive your trespasses. It's just give and take. That person, that man, that woman, as I said, is, he has already been programmed by the almighty God. If God did not say it, it will not happen. It's like you are watching a film. Some of us have all watched a film. I love watching a film. And when you are watching a film, you see uh, many people playing bad characters. Ah, we will be cursing them. How can you be so wicked? But that is life for us. They are playing their parts in our lives. Maybe if that person did not do that, thing, you would not be able to get to where you are. Sometimes we pray for people. We bless the people that bless us. We forget those that hurt us, that push us to that level. May God help us in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Unforgiveness is a sin against God. Because unforgiveness will block us from everything that God has proposed for us. Uh, the Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 1 says something. Now, it says, And it shall come to pass, mm -hmm. if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, mm -hmm. to observe and to do all his commandments, mm -hmm. which has commanded thee this day, mm -hmm. that the Lord thy God mm -hmm. will set thee mm -hmm. on her, mm -hmm. on about, above all the nations. Above all nations, which means if you are not forgiving, mm -hmm. you, are, you, you, are, you are working against the, the lifting up of God in your life. Mm. If you did not respect the word of Jesus in the book, in that book of uh, Matthew chapter 6, then you are actually working against your sources. Mm. You are actually working against your progress. You are actually working against your uplifting in life. Mm. If you did not forgive, if you diligently act in, that is what the Bible says, and Jesus is saying, if you forgive others, then you will begin to, to you will begin to experience from verse two. Read on, man. And all this blessing uh -huh. shall come on thee uh -huh. and overtake thee. Yes, if thou shalt hearken uh -huh. unto the voice of the Lord if, thy God. If you shall hearken unto the voice of the Lord of forgiveness today, mm -hmm. you will begin to enjoy the peacefulness, the the lifting up, the greatness in the book of Deuteronomy chapter twenty eight from verse one. If you are not forgiving, then you are not working according to the will of God. You are just doing your own thing. And the devil is keeping such people in bondage. Anytime you see that person, you are just afraid. You just want to kill. Do you know sometimes we keep people in our heart? When you see that man that just hurts you, you just immediately you see him or her, uh, you, your mind will just go, mm, I wish I can just kill him. I wish I can just kill her. Do you know you have already killed him or her at that very particular time? You have already finished him and or her in your heart. You are working against the purpose of God for your life. No matter what, if Jesus could come down, no, I will, will, in short, the Bible says, even when we were yet sinners, he came and he died for us. So, which means, if Jesus said we should forgive, it's a command. Not for him, it is for you and I. To, to enjoy the fruitfulness in Deuteronomy 28 that we are reading on. That Deuteronomy 28 is the key of a forgiving spirit. And I pray may the power of forgiveness enter you today in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Yes, they hurt you. Yes, I did not understand what they are doing. You want to imagine what Mary was doing when they were killing his only son that have not done anything wrong. Because the Bible said the prince of this world come, he found nothing in him. Yeah. When, the, when, he was, when he was brought to Pil uh, Pilate, Pilate said, I found no fault in this man. Mm. I can't see anything worthy of death in him. And Jesus, he said on the cross, forgive them, for they don't know what they do. Mm. Power of forgiveness, if you, are, if you have the spirit of forgiveness, you have your peace, as I jotted here. <coughs> Excuse me. He said, if Joseph can forgive his, bread, his brothers that has played their part in his life, you need to forgive others. Now come to Genesis 27, 40, it says, And by the sword, Joseph, when Isaac was blessing his children, 
Jacob still take away the birthright, a, 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 a birthright of, of Esau and take away his blessings. This is the prayer that the father prayed for Esau when he come back when he was crying. In tw Genesis 27, 40 says, And by, the, by thy sword shall thou live, and shall, and shall serve thy brother, and it shall come to pass, when thou shalt have the dominion, that thou shalt break his yoke from off thy neck. I thank God for the power of forgiveness. Do you know Saul forgive Jacob? In all he did. Because the Bible makes me to understand <coughs> sorry, that he forgive, he forgive him. Genesis 33 verse 1 to 9. Genesis 3, 3, 33 from verse 1 to 9. Make us to understand that if there was a forgiveness in the Goma. Now, verse 4 say, And Esau ran to meet him. He ran! To meet Jacob and embraced him and fell on his neck and kissed him. And they both wept. They both wept. Weeping of forgiveness. If we were you and I today, that thing we would still be carrying on. And if you read on, when Joseph brought, when Jacob brought uh, the gift to Esau, he said, no, he said, have it because I have enough. Mm. That situation that that brother has done to you have made God to lift you high. Mm. Instead of you to be glorifying God, you are condemning that brother, you are condemning that sister. Mm. He played a part in your life. Let us learn how to forgive everyone that has played an evil part in our lives. Because we are still living, we need to forgive. Because you and I are still breathing, we need to forgive. Please, that is the key to the sources of Deuteronomy chapter 28 from verse 1. Jesus was talking, uh, saying something, telling uh, uh, Peter in the book of Matthew chapter 18. I want us to run that through as the line will be opening now. If you can, if you can call us, if you, can just, if you have any word and you want us to talk about if we cannot uh, 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 answer you today but in the studio.